Back to the drawing board after the Trump administration delays an announcement on biofuel reform. Farm state senators reacted positively to the news Tuesday evening. Earlier in the day, RFD-TV's Sarah Ma got their opinion on why they weren't sold on the proposal. For now, Iowa senators are reserving judgment on the president's renewable fuel strategy. There was no agreement when we left the White House. There was a directive that was given by the president. Uh, he wants the issue resolved. And so he said, E15 year round. Senators Cruz and Toomey pushed back a little bit on that. The proposal was made to allow RINs to be attached to export ethanol. Lawmakers worry the latter could also lead to more trade trouble. Attaching RINs to exports serve as a de facto export subsidy, so that could open up a whole bunch of retaliation from trading partners, and Canada would be a natural one to bring it. Grassley expects a forthcoming White House plan could fall short of upholding the spirit of the 15 billion gallon annual ethanol obligation, which he and Ernst say undermines President Trump's promise to American farmers. But they say the EPA administrator is to blame, not the president. I am very frustrated with Administrator Pruitt. Um, but I would point out to the president that I do believe Administrator Pruitt is trying to undermine his promises the president's promises to our American farmers. The president reportedly left details of the directive up to Pruitt and Ag Secretary Sonny Perdue. Senators hope the USDA chief will ensure the final arrangement supports farmers as well as American consumers. We want exports, but we want domestic consumption as well. I mean, that was one of, um, one of the original intents too, is to support biofuels and move us away from um, relying heavily on other countries' petroleum products. Though lawsuits have been filed by farm and ethanol advocates against the EPA for alleged violations of the renewable fuel standard, lawmakers worry there's not much more they can do. Ernst reiterated the RFS is already law, and the EPA is simply failing to follow it. For RFD TV, I'm Sarah Mock in Washington. Well, both Iowa senators have expressed skepticism on the EPA administrator's ability to carry out the president's agenda and fulfill, fulfill the duties of the office. They have both suggested if the eventual RFS plan is inadequate, they will likely call for his dismissal.